Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple IoT project based on ESP8266 and MQTT protocol using Adafruit.io dashboard. So let's get started. But before that, what is MQTT? MQTT is an extremely simple and lightweight messaging protocol based on a lightweight publish subscribe messaging transport. In our case, a sensor connected to ESP will publish a value, let's say a temperature value, and user from a smartphone or a computer can read this value by subscribing to this value. Also, the user can publish a value, for example, to control LED and the ESP need to subscribe to this value in order to read it. A broker used to manage and handle all these messages between all subscribed clients. In our case, we will use Adafruit.io to be our broker. So, what we are going to do? First, we want to control an LED on and off. Also reading a temperature sensor using LM35 sensor. And read a motion sensor value. I tested my concept on a breadboard, as you can see. Then, I designed a PCB using Eagle Catsoft. I designed a schematic and a PCB, as you can see. You will find the design files, cover files, and part list in the link on the video description below. To order a PCB, you will need a Gerber files. As you can see, I compressed the Gerber files and I placed my order on JLC PCB website. It's a very simple and fast way to order a PCB. From JLC PCB website, create an account for you. Then click Buy Now and select PCB tab. Click Add your GABA file. Remember, compressed file. Then you can see a preview for your BCB files. For the other option, you can select your board color, copper thickness, surface method finish, and many more. Once you finish, add it to your cart and then complete your order. One week later. After one week, I received my BCB. Inside this box, I found this pen, so thank you JLC BCB for that. And here's my PCB boards. You can see the board's quality. The silk screen is really good and the text is easy to read on the board. This is the part list for this board. You will find it on the video description below. Soldering the PCB components. Let's start with SMD components, regulator, button, 1206 capacitor and resistor. 
First, apply the solder paste on the PCB pads. Then I will place the components, started by 100 nanofarad capacitors. Then 1 microfarad capacitors. And now the 2 kilo ohm resistors. Then adding 5 volt regulator. And add a solder paste for the bottom. Then I used my heater plate to solder the components together. Now let's move to node my controller 1.0 version. You can solder it directly on the board. But since I want it to be replaceable, I solder a female headers. and then mount the ESP microcontroller on the board. After that, I soldered the DC jack, header for motion sensor, and the LED. Be careful when you solder the LED and check the anode and the cathode pin. Finally, I soldered the LM35 sensor. and connect the motion sensor to the board. Now, let's connect the board to the computer. To quickly test the board, I write this code so you can see if you solder all the components successfully together. Select the correct configuration to the ESP board and upload the code. The red LED must turn on if motion detected. And yellow LED turn off if you press the button. Now let's upload the main code. And now as you can see, I'm testing my dashboard to read the motion sensor and control the LED on the board. Now let's take a quick look to Adafruit.io dashboard. First of all, go to Adafruit.io website and create an account for you. From your dashboard, create a new dashboard. In my case, I will call it Tutorial. Inside this dashboard, you can create a new block. This block could be a toggle, button, or even a slider. I will select toggle. And now, I need to connect this to a feed. You can simply create your own feed by entering your feed name. But for now, I will select dual feed and press next. 
then select the value you will get if you change this toggle in my case 0 and 1 you can move this toggle and resize it if you want AIO secret key you need to copy this key into your code and remember keep it secret you can create another block in the same way we did before and for more information and instructions please visit my Instructables account Thanks for watching, see you later.